Hey everyone, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are doing a island tour. Even though my channel heavily focuses on tutorials and how to do city core, I do enjoy touring other people's islands, especially to get inspiration. I mean, when I saw this island, I knew you had to see this. Like this is a beautifully done island, has some great Japanese inspiration. So if you're one of my Japanese followers, this island is totally for you. Before we get started, I'd appreciate if you'd hit that like, subscribe, and notify button if you want to see more content like this in the future. This island is created by Zara Crossing on Instagram. They said that this island is a harbor Japanese island. There's a lot of great harbor inspiration, a lot of great usage of water codes, and I just think that this is going to be a great inspiration for those who need it. If you like island tours, I have a playlist already on my channel dedicated to it. I'm actually wanting to add more islands to this, so you're going to see more island tours kind of like popping up every single week just so we can add to it and plus I love seeing y'all's creativity and just showcasing other talented creators so with that being said let's go ahead and get this tour started I feel like this is one of the most unique Japanese islands that I've seen in a very long time I love the use of all the 2.0 items the fact that it's set in summertime and also this beautiful water code if you're not a fan of water codes, I hope that this brings you a new perspective with them because I truly love how realistic they make our islands feel. Not to mention this creator has used both actual terraform water and this code water on their island. So you get to see how they've incorporated both onto this. And I just really truly think that the water code itself, especially with the dock code over here, just brings a whole new realism level to this island. I honestly feel like this is one of my favorite spots on here too. I just really love all the minor details, all the storefronts really do give like a really nice coastal town vibe and this is just super inspiring in general I've been really wanting to do something around a coastal theme ever since I saw the yacht items and this island truly does give me that itch and inspiration to start one obviously we're gonna try to finish the tropical island first but I am very excited about this island because I feel like a lot of people are wanting to do a coastal theme just because of all the great items that we did get in 2.0 so this is definitely a great island to go get some inspiration from even if you're not doing a Japanese theme just the overall feel and layout of this would work great for just a standard coastal theme in general I also really love the use of standee codes here in the distance. I love how it looks like a raised pier. I actually really need this code in my life. This is so insane. I also believe that they made their own road codes too. So if you go to their Instagram or visit this island, you should be able to get the code for this road design on the kiosk. Next, we're just gonna go make our way towards the right side of the map. I also wanna add that this has such a really nice flow to it. I'm not sure if they planned their island layout or if they just went with the flow, but this is definitely some good layout inspiration if you're someone who struggles with road transitions and just how to lay out a city core island in general. Another one of my favorite spots is this little area right here. I just felt like it looked really realistic, especially with the buildings in the distance. So yeah, this has so many many details. I love the use of the wheat field as well. That is such a great new item. It shows that the wheat field also isn't just limited to farm core. So this is some great inspiration to make use of that item too on a city core island. Another thing that really shocked me during this island tour was the fact that there was really no item loading or lag. There's a lot of content going on here, a lot of details, and the island really did not lag that much. So it kind of encouraged me maybe to start adding a little more details to my islands again. Obviously we can't go crazy with that because the switch can only handle so much, but this has a lot going on and there's really not that much lag. So maybe this will encourage also somebody who wants to add more details to their island but they're so scared about having a super laggy island i mean city core can have that issue but if you space things out and plan your decorations correctly you can usually avoid this issue and it seems like this creator has definitely captured that ability on their own island because i'm running at full speed in certain spots and there was literally no item loading I also thought this spot was really cool just because of the way they blended out the terraform with the water code transitioning into the actual water terraform. I've honestly never seen anybody do this before and that is the most clever trick I've ever seen. I also really love how this location here is a lot more rural feeling. There's a lot of piers going on, lots of deck codes, and I just love how they've blended this out even though it's on an upper level. I honestly only see people do water codes on the very first level. 
So this is the first time I've ever seen somebody make a water code work really well on a second level of Terraform. Now we're pretty much at the backside of their map and I just really loved this whole entire location. I love this little picnic area and the fact that this is so simple but it's so realistic and detailed feeling. I've never seen anybody use the wheat field like this and blend it out with a water code. It doesn't even feel like we're at the edge of the map. That's how good this is. I definitely got a lot of inspiration from this because I feel like this is super unique. It's great inspiration again if you're doing a coastal theme or you want to incorporate some water codes onto your island. I am definitely inspired just by this location. This area right here definitely just makes me want to go, okay, let's abandon all of our current islands to start a coastal theme. That's what this area makes me want to do. I also really loved the choice of their villager homes. I love that white color against all the greens. It definitely has a coastal vibe with them. The fact that we can actually edit our villager homes now is such a game changer because I appreciate that now all their houses can suit every theme that I do, but I just love the choice and attention to detail with that. I believe we've seen all of the backside of their map, so now I'm gonna go ahead and make my way towards the middle of the map. I also really appreciated this location of their map too. The use of plaza items on a Japanese theme was beautifully done with it also suiting their theme as well. Overall, I feel like this island is super cozy and also incredibly detailed. Again, the fact that there is hardly any item loading going on still has me blown away. I love all the item blending too. The fact that they're still making use of standees. I haven't seen a lot of people use standees anymore, so it's always exciting to see those items continuously be used. My other favorite spot is right here. This location totally blew my mind. This spot is such an inspiration. I am totally taking inspiration from this for my tropical island because I want to incorporate the boat piers so this spot totally inspired me and the transition from this location too is also beautifully done. I love that little minor detail with the duck in the water and then we make our way over to another location where the pier is and a lot more boats and little cozy areas. Also really appreciate how they've kept the museum in a tent form. It definitely suits the fishing vibe well and I always like smile every time I see uh, the shops not being upgraded. I feel like those are the best versions of the museum and the shop I honestly hope that in the future we get the option to edit the exteriors of the NPC buildings just in general I feel like plaza can't suit certain themes. Well, it just feels too European at times So maybe in the future we'll get a surprise update or in a future game We'll actually have those options return again just like in previous games Anyways, I'm pretty sure we saw every inch of the island. If I did miss something, make sure you go check out the dream address for yourself. This island is packed with a ton of great inspiration. The creator did such a great job. Let me know what your favorite location was in the comment section below. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day. I'll see you next video.